We have been looking for trends and, and other kinds of uh, indications of where the market's going. My company specializes in healthy, allergy-free, free from products. So seeing what other innovations are out there has been really helpful for us. Health and well-being in general, not necessarily low fat or diet, but well-being I think is the big trend that I'm noticing this year. Moderation and balance, I think that people are realizing that it doesn't have to be necessarily very low in calories or low in fat, but it needs to be this kind of made from ingredients that you can find in your kitchen instead of artificial things that are coming from chemicals and processed, etc. I'm really impressed. I came two years ago, and uh, I think it's absolutely leaps and bounds better this year. Um, and even in this, um, you know, the face of the recession, you're finding a lot of new companies are still here. They're still putting the money forward. They're still here showcasing, and I think that's great. It's a really good indicator. First of all, we're actually going around here. It's a great show. There's lots of different exhibitors. You've got packaging, you've got food, and those sort of combinations. My company's involved in both of those areas. So to actually go around here and find those two two groups of people together is a real bonus for us. It's extremely professional, it seems to be well organised, lots of things going on. And more importantly, you've got people here actually going around talking to people on stands and that's, you know, both for your exhibitors and also for other people attending the show. Those things are great bonuses. The big trend we're finding is uh, a move uh, to explore other areas of wine. Traditionally, French and uh, Spanish, particularly Rioja, have dominated the scene along with sort of South American brands and a little bit of Californian. What we're now finding is a willingness on the part of consumers to explore. And uh, I'm involved in bringing wine in from Israel, and there's real interest in Israeli wine and uh, the quality and all sorts of other issues, sort of, you know, with a sort of Mediterranean flavour, I guess. Yeah, I think the show, um, the way it's been put together, is really well organised. We've had n um, no hiccups whatsoever, um, very professional, um, this is very easy to get on with, everyone's very sociable, um, the stands look amazing, that's why it brings the quality of buyers to the IFE, um, that's why exhibiting Bambini and Mealy Organic here as well as Pure Organic uh, is giving us the best opportunity to get into the UK markets. Well, we're supplier of food ingredients to the major food manufacturers. So I'm here today to try to source fresh suppliers of new and novel ingredients, something we can supply into the food manufacturing base. There was the uh, FIE recently in, uh, in Birmingham, which uh, I have to say doesn't compare with this at all. This is far, uh, far uh, more expansive, uh, a better selection of uh, particularly um, uh, country pavilions and um, seems to be better, better laid out here. I think um, as, as buyers, we often think we have uh, all of the right products and right suppliers in place. This event allows us to review our current trading relationships and our current products and really make sure that we have the very best to offer our clients and customers. The Meet the Buy event has been very useful because we've been able to choose varying different levels of supplier in terms of maturity. Everything from uh, new Italian suppliers of olives right through to international suppliers of meat and, and poultry. I think the key trends are uh, people are looking at um, products which are sustainable. Um, sustainability has been a key theme at IFE this year, whether that be packaging or talking about food miles. Um, local produce has been a, 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 another key um, item at the show and Sodexo with our accreditation on Red Tractor have been picking up some uh, new information and new supplier details. Um, I think this year IFE has been particularly well organised. Um, the feedback I had prior to coming to the event was very positive and I've been uh, very pleased at the improvements made this year. Uh, well, this is not my first visit. Um, every year I always try to make sure uh, I don't miss it. And uh, each of the visits I've actually, uh, my, as a company, we've gained quite a lot by seeing you know, different types of uh, suppliers, producers, and you know, sometimes you, you get used to certain people, not until you come in here you see that, oh, so you can actually get this product from another place or another, you know, distributors, or another suppliers or manufacturers. You know, again, what that tells you, it gives you a wide understanding of uh, ranges of uh, different type of things and where they actually come from. Right, I've come to the show because I'm a college lecturer, but I also run a secondary business in event catering. Um, so obviously I do hog roast and, and other outside business. So I look to obviously venture from there and have a look at some of the products that are available. Um, and see what's, what's new on the market. 
So yeah, it's changed a little bit from olives in previous years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been olives, olives, olives. But um, yeah, certainly there's there's a few new products out. There's also some of the products that are sort of um, pre-prepared that was quite good. Um, and just looking at the different availabilities of what's what's here. I deal with the likes of Woburn and I do hog roast for them at weddings and things like that. But also sometimes people come to me and say, what can you offer us? What have you got? So he's keeping up to date with the market and looking at what's available.